All right, video two. Uh, still have a mountain of bubbles right here. Let's take care of that. We'll send it to the sink. And so we'll pour this into the sink. I don't want to pour the oil into the sink that can clog drains. So I'll just wait a little bit and I'll pour that back into the bottle and I'll reuse it at some future date. So here's what we're going to do in our lab today. Uh, you want to start out with a styrofoam cup and the reason why is we want to uh, weigh, we want to weigh the, the piece of dry. So I got my scale here and let me slide this up here, keep it out of the puddle. All right, so we're gonna put a piece of dry into our cup and we need to know how much the cup weighs. So I will pick this up once the scale turns on. I'm gonna put my cup on and I wanna press the tear button and I just want to show you here, our scale is reading 0, 0.00. So the next step, I want to take my piece of dry ice, use the tongs, so I'm get some frostbite on my hands, put it into the cup, and let's check out what the reading is. 11.37. Oh, 11.36. What's going on here? It changed. Let's see if it'll change even a little bit more. Nope. Oh no, 11.35. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. The solid is turning into a gas. It's getting lighter as we speak. So we gotta hurry up. So write down 11.35 grams. Dry ice weighs 11.35 grams. Over here, I got a garbage bag. It's already flattened out. I pushed all the air out of it. I flattened it out before I started this video. And so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my piece of dry ice and I'm gonna stick it in the edge of the garbage bag. And it's in my garbage bag. I'm gonna pick it up very carefully and I wanna get that piece of dry ice down here in the corner. I wanna keep it flattened. It's still flat. I don't wanna puff it up because if I puff it up, it's not gonna work. And then I want to very carefully pull the end together, twist it a few times fold it over, get a big heavy duty rubber band, and I want to seal it. All right, so I had a flattened bag. So my bag ideally had zero volume, whether or not it really did have zero volume. It's hard to know for sure, but you know, uh, I wanted to make sure the bag was flat and didn't have gas in it because what I want to do now is this, I want to wait. So I got my bag, let me hold it up like this, that has dry ice in it. As that dry ice turns into a gas, it's, there's no place for it to go except to fill up the bag. So the bag is gonna start to puff up. And so if we know the mass of the gas, well, how do we know the mass of the gas? Well, we know the mass of the frozen CO2, right? The solid CO2, the dry ice. And we know conservation of mass, we're not gonna destroy carbon dioxide. So what happened here is the mass of the dry ice, the solid CO2, as it sublimates, as it turns into a gas, is still gonna weigh the same amount. So that 11.35 grams is the mass that our gas weighs too. We just have to give it time to turn into a gas. And if you remember the density formula, density of a gas is equal to the mass divided by the volume. So we know the mass from weighing the dry ice. We need to know the volume. So we gotta wait for our bag to puff up. So we'll leave it on the lab table. We'll let it sublimate. It's gonna take probably five or 10 minutes. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get a beaker of some warm water Beaker, hot water. Sorry, I got my thumb in the way. All right, beaker, hot water, back to the lab table. There's the beaker. I'm gonna find the end of the bag. I don't wanna grab it, right? If I grab it, I'll cry, it'll hurt. And I'm gonna stick the end, the dry ice is right here, I'm gonna stick it in that warm water. And that's gonna help speed up the process of sublimation. So how do we figure out the volume of the gas? Well, all the gas is gonna be trapped inside of that garbage bag. So what we did here, and this, this garbage can is about 15 years old. Look at it, it's all beat up. We have tape holding it together. Uh, before it had any holes in it, what we did is we dumped water in it, two liters at a time. So we got two liter of water, dumped it in, and put a little marker, and then we marched it up two liters every time. So we have little two liter graduations. And where's my wooden disc at? I'm trying to find one thing I need to show you here. One second, sorry. All 
right, there's a wooden disc that fits in there. We're gonna flatten the bag out and then I'll read the volume and that'll give us a rough approximation. It's not a real good tool, but it'll give us a ballpark number for the volume of our gas. So I'm gonna pause the video now, I'll come back when the bag is fully inflated and I'm gonna go find the wooden disc that I have appeared to lost. All right, be right back.